Hi, Nick Byron from 360 Insights. This is the second video of a series I plan on doing, really showcasing many of the findings that we have uncovered here at 360 Insights as part of our research and speaking with multiple end users and vendors alike. In the first video, I covered how the buying and selling process has fundamentally changed and some of the challenges that arise with that. Today, I wanna to cover specifically from a line of business perspective, how they can be more successful in obtaining software and technology purchases and make that, that purchase and process so much more smoother in the long run. One of the first elements that we believe and have really seen through the research that we've done that helps an organization streamline that process is bringing in IT early. If you remember back to the first video, I talked about how they can be a major challenge to moving forward as they'll typically challenge, is it the right process? Is it the right software technology? Who's going to manage it? And then they also like to politically push back as well because they're losing more control within the organization. One of the ways that you can get around that is by bringing them in much earlier into the process. Not only will it help the process, but it'll actually help you get more out of the investment that you're looking to make. The reality is if you take a step back and look at most software stacks within line of business today, you're going to find that they have purchased multiple software solutions to help them do their jobs. The challenge is that they've essentially created digital islands within their line of business where they may not talk at all, or if they do, they have very limited integration in terms of talking between the apps. And it really does limit the features and functionality and getting the most out of those solutions that, you can, that, they, that you've purchased. So at the end of the day, when you bring in IT, they can actually really work with you to make sure you're getting the most out of the investment that you're making. Really, what we recommend is bring them early, explain to them what you're trying to do, explain to them the current environment, and really work with them as a partner to really evaluate the software and technology to make sure it can actually do what you're looking to do. Because a lot of the times we'll find if you do not bring in IT, you'll find out down the line that you may want it to integrate with a core HIRS system or something else. And at the end of the day, it may not work the way that you had hoped. So again, we really recommend bringing them in early and often, because if you make them a partner, not only will they make the buying process much smoother, but they'll actually make the, feet, the functionality of the software much better for you in the long run. Then you have financial oversight. Financial oversight is a little similar to the executive sponsor where they want more justification. When it comes down to it, when you're in the line of business, you really understand why you're making a purchase. You know how it's going to help your organization. You know what in your heart is going to make them more effective and efficient. But what we find is that someone in the office of the CFO and, and typically even executive leadership as well, they really want to understand what the business benefit and value, a business case. And what we find is that that is a little bit tougher some, for some types of software and solutions. Think about a talent management solution or a learning development solution, or even something as simple as rewards. That's very difficult to translate to a CFO or someone within that department, that if you have happier customers, uh, excuse me, employees, they're gonna stick around longer. So what we recommend is really spend some time and really review case studies and research and try to understand how others have been successful in navigating these types of solutions and really try to understand what the impact has been. Because if you can trace it back to, well, if we're able to retain 15, 20, 30% of our employee base over the course of the year, that can turn into a very sizable ROI because you can start to do some math in terms of, well, if it costs us X amount every time we lose an employee and it's Y amount every time we need to attract, hire, onboard, ramp up a new employee, if you're able to reduce that by 20 or 30%, you can now start to showcase a very hard metric as it turns into that, uh, that, 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 that business case. So at the end of the day, if you really want to smooth out the buying and selling process, you have to bring in IT early, really make sure that you're building it as a business partner and do your homework. Really try to understand what the impact of a solution has been with peers, and, and that's typically through case studies, whether it's a case study with 360 Insights, it could be even a case study of uh, vendor shares or even other research firms out there because there are really great stories that can really help you wrap your head around how to build the business case. I shared one example in terms of building a business case, but there are many others. There are many other things that you can look at that can really help build that business case. Another great example is uh, we did one 
a while back with the city of Memphis, where they talked about how they were able to increase their that class door rating by improving the employee experience there. And as a result of having a higher class door rating, they found that their cost of acquisition from a new employee perspective was much was much better because at the end of the day, prospective employees were looking at that glass door rating and they were using that as a way to judge whether they wanted to actually move forward in the recruiting process or not with them. The higher glass door rating basically meant that more people felt more comfortable going through the process. So at the end of the day, do your homework and it'll help you really make a smoother buying and selling process.